hello everyone and welcome to this video so in this video i'll continue our introduction to machine learning apis and i will talk about the natural language um, api so um, the natural language api helps you to get um, insightful text analysis using already trained uh, using pre-trained machine learning models so um, you can use it for entity analysis to find and label fields within a document um, you can use it for um, sentiment analysis you can use it for um, yeah a whole lot of text analysis so um, let's um, jump right into the code and then see what we can use the natural language api for um and in this video we'll be using it for mainly two main things so we'll be using it for entity um, analysis and also so we analyze the entities in the text so we want the api to extract entities so things like people places events from text right so um yeah, that's what we will be we'll be using um, it for. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I would do is to um, create an API key. So um, in the previous video, we did um, we pass the service account right key into the the header. Um, in this in this video i'll show you how to use an api key instead so the first thing we have to do is we have to go to um, api and services let's take a long time to open sometimes we go to credentials I already have an API key there this doesn't work so I will delete this API key delete that and then I will create a new API key so I'm going to copy that Then the next thing I would do um, is to pass this API key as um, as a variable, right? In my um, so I've opened up a terminal here, so I would say export API key. And then I'll just paste the API key I just copied in here. Right. Okay. So the next thing um, we have to do is um, we have to enable the natural language um, API. So I will say G Cloud Services Enable. Now I've already used the natural language API before, so I'm not going to get any output. But language dot google apis dot com by the first time um you enable it you have you would see uh, a message that says oh api enabled okay so what text are we going to analyze so let me open up the text that we are going to analyze So I have a test, a text which is written in um, the request dot um, JSON file, and yeah, this this text will be um, it will be in the in the GitHub repo, so you don't have to type it out. You can just copy it. So it's a text about my favorite writer, so Agatha Christie. And this is just a short bio about Agatha Christie, and we want to 
and analyze this text and extract entities from it, right? So let's go ahead and see how that works. So I'm going to close this request to JSON app. And then um, I'm just going to use curl, right? So you, instead of using curl, you can write a Python program that uses the request uh, library also. But just to make things simple, I'm just going to use curl to, to, to do stuff, right? So I'm just going to make this a bit bigger. And then I'm just um, just gonna type curl command. So I'm just gonna say curl. Um, so it's https language dot google apis dot com slash version one slash documents and then we need to pass um, something like an, an id um, so here we want to analyze entities right so we'll say we are analyzing entities right so we analyze entities and then we pass the key which we save in the variable API key and then we want to send a post request so we our content type It's an application. Translation. Data binary. So hopefully this will work. Um, and then we have an error. Um, let's see my API key. Let's say export. Oh, maybe I didn't export that API key or right. API key not valid. Mm -hmm. Strange. So, yeah. yeah. Think so. Yeah. So um, let's write um, the results this into a result dot JSON. See what we get. So go to JSON up here. So um as you can see we have um our results over here. All right, it's so in the result of JSON, we have all the entities uh, extracted. And then the first one is Dame Agatha Mary Clarissa Christie. And it says it's a type, it's a person. And you can see it has even given you the Wikipedia URL of um, Agatha Christie. It also says something like salience. So the salience is the centrality of this entity to the text. So 0 0.58, which is pretty high between 0 and 1. And then you also say mentions. So the mentions would be all the um, entities in the text. So that are central to some common um, 
entity. So you can see that Agatha Christie, writer, pseudonym, Mary, uh, Mary West mascot, it's all referring to the same person, right? So you have other um, entities also, yeah, say whether it's what type it is, it's a common, is it proper? Yeah, so um, you can read a documentation on how um, some of these um, keywords also are, right? So um, yeah, this is how you can use the, um, the natural language API to analyze and extract um, entities in a text. It's very simple, you don't need to um, start training a machine learning model from scratch. So just use the API, get your work done quickly.